Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, today I am back with an another interesting scooter and that is TVS iCube. So in this video, we are going to do a full range test of this TVS iCube electric scooter. Mind you, this is not a S variant. This is the base variant. As you can see, we have 100% charging in this. So we are going to drain the charging to 0% and let's see how much range this TVS iCube gonna offer us in the real time conditions. So if you want to know the real range of this TVS iCube scooter, please watch the video till the end and if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel yet please subscribe to electric vehicles india for this kind of content so let's begin the video so friends everything is set for the tvs iCube range test so before beginning the range test i want to say some of the basic specs of this tvs iCube so this scooter is equipped with a 3.04 kilowatt hour non-removable lithium ion battery so the battery is placed there and uh, this battery comes with a ais 156 certification and when it comes to motor it's equipped with a 3.4 kilowatt bldc hub motor so as you can see the motor is mounted to rear wheel tvs is claiming a 78 km per hour top speed and 100 km real range with this tvs iCube electric scooters and now let's begin the range test and let's see how much kilometers it will give on a full 100% charge so friends as you can see in the odometer we have 100% full charging and now the time is 11 6 am and today's date is 7th December in this TVS iCube we'll get a eco mode so in this eco mode we'll get a 105 kilometers real range and if we go in the power mode we get 75 kilometers real range so the odo comes to 1668 kilometers that means this scooter has completed 1668 kilometers still now and i made trip a zero so by the end of the ride we'll know how many kilometers we have traveled today and the average speed here is zero so now let's begin our ride so and let's see how much kilometers does it gonna offer us today in the full charge so friends we begin our ride from the lingampalli in hyderabad so currently i am in lingampalli and i am heading to statue of equality which is 43 kilometers away from here so my round trip is going to be close to 86 kilometers and i'm going to ride in the eco as well as in power modes so at the end of the day let's see how much kilometers does it gonna achieve in these two modes so currently in the eco mode it's showing 104 kilometers range so we have dropped 3 percent of the battery currently we have 97 percent of the battery left so with that 97 kilometers it's showing we can go up to 104 kilometers so in the eco mode we can go up to 50 kilometers of top speed in this so the performance is very good as you can see within no seconds it's reached 50 km per hour top speed so personally i liked the initial pickup of this electric scooter it's so good in the cities you're gonna play with this so currently the trip a meter is in 2.2 kilometers so for every 15 kilometers, I'll give you an update like how is the ride going and uh, what is the range left in this electric scooter. So stay tuned till the end to know the real range of this TVS iCube. So friends we have completed close to 24.2 kilometers i mean 25 kilometers in this ride so now the charging percentage is 80 percent and it's still showing 105 kilometers range so i can't trust this 105 kilometers range because tvs is claiming 100 kilometers range on this so now the battery percentage is 80 so i can trust 80 kilometers of range with this 80 percent of ride so i took a break for 25 kilometers so as i always say we should give rest to the battery and motor for every 25 to 30 kilometers when we we are riding i mean when we are on a long ride so that the battery and motor gets cooled so until the battery and motor gets cooled i'll enjoy the view of this himayat sagar lake so this himayat sagar is one of the biggest lakes in this hyderabad so for next 10 minutes i'll enjoy this view and after 10 minutes i'll start my ride again so friends i have restarted my ride so it's time to say bye bye to this himayat sagar beautiful lake so currently i'm going in the eco mode so i did not got a chance to switch between the uh, like a power mode so eco mode is decently enough even in the highway also so from the beginning i am traveling in the eco mode so i did not got a opportunity to switch to power mode 50 kilometers top speed is enough so and the scooter is also have a regenerative braking so it's helping me to enhance the range so as you can see currently now i am in the uh, 49 speed so i have left the throttle so the scooter speed is decreasing and the region is engaging so this is helping me to increase the range of this electric scooter 
so currently we have traveled 25.2 kilometers so i'll update you once i reach the destination So guys finally we have reached our destination so as you can see so that's the statue of equality sri ramanuja swami statue so you can see there so we have covered close to 45.5 kilometers like from the starting and our average speed is 31 km per hour so 65 percentage of batteries left in this scooter now and it's still showing 105 kilometers like estimated range so we cannot 100 percent rely on that range because it's showing uh, the fault range so we should calculate like one percent of charge gives one kilometer of the range so i have drained 37 kilometers of charge and in the 37 kilometers i have traveled 45 kilometers so i got more range because uh, my average speed is limited to 31 kilometer per hour so if you also go in like uh, so if your average speed is this so you can achieve more range in the claimed range so while coming i came slowly so while going back i will be in aggression mode so i will drive aggressively so currently my average speed is 31 and we have got 46 kilometers till now and the 63 percent of the battery is still left in this electric scooter so at the end let's see how much kilometers we can cover when it comes to zero percent of charge So friends, let's say bye to Statue of Unity, Sri Swami Ramanuja Chari Ji. So right now I'm starting from here. So as today is a Wednesday, we did not have entry to like enter this temple. So as you can see, this is the starting animation of this TVS IQ electric scooter. So if anyone of you planning to visit here, please don't come on Wednesdays because Wednesday is a holiday here. So right now I'm starting my trip back. So we have completed 47 kilometers and i'll show you the map now so as you can see so i am going return back to from where i have started the trip so we have 45 kilometers and it's showing one hour 11 minutes so this time i am going from the city so while coming i took the service road of orr that means outer ring road highway so now i am going from the city so as you can see attapur Medipatnam. So from this way I am going so that we can hit the traffic and we can test the performance of this electric scooter in the traffic conditions. So the time is 1.51 pm now. So it's hot here in Hyderabad. So let's start now. So I will give the updates in the middle of the ride. So stay tuned. So friends as you can see I am going in the power mode. So in the eco mode it's giving a top speed up to 50 km per hour. So I am not getting that uh, thrill in the eco mode so I shifted to the power mode. So now let's go in the power mode and enjoy the performance of this TVS IQ. So while talking about the positives, TVS has a very good retail network in our India and the build quality, range and the mirror quality, suspension quality, everything is good in this electric scooter. So as every scooter has some negatives, this TVS IQ also has some negatives. The first negatives comes to these software bugs. So as you can see, the expected range is showing 61 kilometers, but I don't think so. It's uh, it will really give 61 kilometers on 52% uh, of charge. So you can't rely 100% on this estimated uh, range. So you should calculate one kilometer per one percent of the charging. So currently I have 52% of the charging. So I can calculate as I can go up to only 52 kilometers on this 52% of charge. 
uh, and the second negative things comes to the service network so as tvs as so many showrooms all over the india but uh, while coming to this electric segments they don't have the proper technician team to get service of this electric scooter so so many customers are facing some minor issues related to this service so as the electric segment is new to tvs i mean this tvs iq series has launched way back in uh, i think 2019 or 20 but that's the first series of scooter so as these are the second series of scooter the technicians needs to understand 100% of the scooter to give 100% service to the customers so as they are still in the learning process like the technicians are not able to give 100% service to their uh, customers so the particular owner of this electric scooter is facing some issues like uh, as this is the first batch of scooter in the TVS iCube series I mean the second series so he is facing some build quality issues uh, the rear mudguard is not steady it seems and he is facing some issues related to this display so he said that we can't rely 100 percent on this estimated range he also commented that the app connectivity which this iCube has is useless so uh, in the morning he made the trip meter zero by using his mobile app connectivity he said there is no use of that app connectivity except the trip meter like controlling the trip meter so like this the customers are facing some minor issues with this TVS iCube series so except these minor problems the rest of the scooter is very good uh, when it comes to price the on road price in Hyderabad is close to 1.3 to 1.33 lakhs for the base variant and if you want to go to top variant it will cost you 1.4 lakhs so for that price segment the 100 kilometers claimed range is enough according to me so let's ride somewhere in the power mode let me enjoy this scooter so let's catch up in a while Okay guys, we successfully completed 75 kilometers in our ride. So starting from the Lingampalli in the morning. So till now, currently I am in the Toli Choki, Hyderabad. So till now we have completed 75 kilometers. So from the Shemshabad area, I am riding this electric scooter in both eco and power mode. So when I get an empty stretch, I am riding in the power mode. And when I get traffic situations like this, I am shifting to the eco mode. And... Uh, <coughs> And from the morning, the average speed is 33 km per hour. So I rode between the 30, 40 and 50 kilometers like this. So the average speed is showing 33 km per hour. So 36% of the battery left. And with this 36 km it's showing, we can go up to 60 km of the range. So as I already mentioned, we could not trust 100% this range predictor because it might go wrong in most of the situations. So with this 36% of this charge, I am thinking we can go up to still 36 km. So my destination, my home point is uh, like close to 25 to 30 kilometers away from here. So I have been riding like this. So let's ride. Let's continue our ride. So at the end, let's see how much kilometers it can give uh, when it comes to this 0% of charge. So let's meet in a while when it completes 100 kilometers here in trip meter. So friends, as you can see, we have reached the place from where we started our ride. So if we look at the dashboard of this TVS iCube, we have successfully completed 100 kilometers in trip A. So we have started our ride from zero kilometers. So after coming back here from where we started, here the reading shows 100 kilometers. So till now we have rode 100 kilometers today and 11% charging left in this electric scooter. With these 11%, we can further go 18 kilometers. So the scooter is showing like that. 
now the time is 4 10 pm we have started literally at 11 am so till now we rode exactly 100 kilometers with this electric scooter with the remaining 11 percent charging left so according to tvs it can give only up to 100 kilometers range on a single charge but we have achieved 100 kilometers range with 11 percent battery left still so let's ride this 11 percent and let's see how much kilometers it can give in the real city life condition so i will meet you at one percent so friends as you can see we have 5% charging left in this electric scooter so the charging indicator is blinking here so this indicating the charge the scooter immediately so while the battery is 6% the like the estimated range is showing 17 kilometers but when the battery got down to 5% so the estimated range is gone so it's not showing any digit so now we have 4% left so let's see while coming to 1% how much the trip meter will be so friends as you can see the scooter has reached 1% of its charging so let me char let me start the vehicle so as you can see the scooter is left with 1% of charging so with the remaining 1% i can travel close to 2 kilometers so the total trip a meter comes to 108.4 kilometers so if we add two more kilometers it comes to 110 kilometers so the real range of this tvs iCube electric scooter is 110 kilometers on a single charge so my average speed comes to 23 kilometers but i did not went in the 23 kilometer per hour speed so i went close to 30 40 50 so in these speeds i have traveled today so total since morning i have traveled 108 kilometers and one percent charging left so practically we can say that the tvs iq and iq is uh, like these both scooters are coming with the same battery pack. both scooters can give 110 kilometers of range on a single charge in these practical city drive conditions so what's your thoughts on this range test let us know in the comment sections if you found this video helpful and if you like our efforts please like the video and don't forget to subscribe electric vehicles india see you in an other interesting video with another interesting bike so until then Go green, go electric.